just finished cleaning up the house from Thanksgiving and all the fall decorations. And I decided that I wanted to go thrift shopping again. I wanna find some new things that I can put in the apartment that would fill out the space and fall in line with the mid-century vibe, kind of like what I did with Thanksgiving. And I found a little wreath at like five below and it had no decorations on it. So I thought maybe I would go see if there's some recycled pine cones and cranberries and pine needles and different kinds of Christmassy things like ribbon that I could put on this wreath and prep for, you know, decorating for Christmas. So come on with me. I wanna show you what's out there. actually saw this yellow teapot in the window as I was walking up and I had to grab it before somebody else did. This is just the beginning of so many good things. Definitely stay till the end of the video to see my haul because I actually have never gotten so much from thrift stores in one day. So I've been really attracted to this glass color lately and pick up anything that looks like it and I probably would have got this if I liked the grapes on it. So I really love this and I love chrome in a mid-century setting. It, I saw that it's from Ross though, so I didn't feel the need to get it, but it's still a nice lamp. So I thought these birds were really pretty, but I think I just liked the yellow color. I don't know if I'd want birds in my house like that. I always love a good dresser. I'm always wondering if I should thrift flip one, so let me know what you think about that one. I am totally regretting not getting this little pet sweater for my cat. I felt like these candles were a little bit too expensive. I love the little votive color, but this candle didn't smell good and neither did this one, but I love a good candle as you know. A lot of places have bags of ribbons like this or bows and I thought that $7.99 was a little bit much, but there was a lot of ribbon in there. And I thought these were cool, they were cue ball ornaments. These totally remind me of Palm Springs. I love it. This is your reminder to not ignore the baskets that things live in at the thrift store. I thought that one was cute. These are also beautiful, but they didn't have a label on them. And I have so much dishware from Thanksgiving, so I don't really need it. But as I said, I really love this color green and I love to look at dishware in general. This Japanese stoneware was actually really expensive at the Seahive Market, and I'll talk to you more about that later, but I should have picked it up for resale. However, I didn't need more dishware, like I said. Speaking of more expensive finds, I actually saw this travertine tray at Seahive Market as well for $29. This is 99 cents. I should have just got it. I thought these were really pretty. I don't have like almost any Christmas cocktail wear, so these little shot glasses would have been really cute. But as you probably saw in my last video, I have so much glassware on my bar, I really don't need anything else. I thought this looked a little mid-century, right? It's kind of cool, I liked it.
again, me and the green glass. I think these are votive holders, but you could do a lot with them. all of this crystal stuff because it reminds me of all the things that I've inherited from my grandma and a lot of the serving plates and dishware were this really pretty crystal so I really have an appreciation for it. However, I thought I could resell them if they're worth anything. Goodwill was really interesting. They had a lot of stuff. I always love coming to this one because every time I come here, I find something. And I got here right when they opened, which was like really exhilarating because I feel like they had a lot of good stuff. They're always putting stuff out all throughout the day, but it seemed like they had a lot of stuff this morning. They had really great Christmas stuff. I found some of the uh, little things that I can add to my wreath, my fake wreath at home. And then I'll mix it in with some real pine needles that I'll get from like the Christmas tree lot after we get one, or I can just go there before I get one. And they always have like little cuttings there. So I'm excited for that. I also went to a thrift store right next door called Brother Benno's. So I'll show you that. This store had so many Christmas decorations and Christmas decor. I was overwhelmed just looking at all of it when I first walked in. Definitely stay till the end of the video to see my haul because I got some really awesome stuff. This is just a small look at everything that they had. They had so many baskets of like baking and stockings, napkins, placemats, all kinds of different stuff. So their kitchenware section was huge. All kinds of different utensils and candlesticks and mugs. I saw teapots, these really pretty amber glass jars. I found anything from Pyrex dishes to crystal bowls. It was just absolutely wild. If you have a chance to go to this thrift store, definitely take the time to do it.
You know, I really loved these so much and I saw some other ones in the other room, but to have to plug in every single candlestick, it seemed like a lot. I would rather probably have battery powered candlesticks, but they were so pretty. This marble bread box is so nice, but it would be really huge on my countertop. But I absolutely love the idea of a marble bread box with a wood lid. because every time I drive by this place or I think about going, it's always closed and today it was open and I got there really close to opening time and everything in the store was 20% off. So I found as much stuff as I could. There was a lot of really great Christmas decorations. They had baskets full of like bows and ribbons and little odds and ends, bits and bob things to put on your wreaths or to make your own ornaments. There was a lot of really cool vintage, um, high quality mid-century items in their glass cases that they were selling for a little bit of a higher price. They also had uh, really great Christmas trees and stuff like that usually ends up being like around, you know, three, $400 at Target or Walmart. So it's awesome to give a new life to all of these Christmas decorations that people have donated and they're all really in good condition. And so I'm excited to see how they meld in with the current decorations I have at home. That's why I have like a massive amount of things to show you guys when I get back home, but I had a really good successful thrift trip today and I'm excited to see what it's gonna look like in my place. And I might even end up reselling some of this stuff. I just grabbed it because I thought it was great and had to have it whether I keep it or whether I end up selling it. So it's the following day. I didn't get to finish filming yesterday because my phone died. While I was waiting for my phone to charge, I saw on Instagram that this place I followed called Seahive, they were having a big sale. So I actually ended up going to a third thrift store. It's actually not a really a thrift store. It's like a indoor flea market and it's there year round. There's a bunch of different booths. There's definitely a lot of mid-century furniture and decor. But anyways, I wanna show you what I got and I'm pretty excited. I have like a massive haul of things. Let's get into it. Let me show you what I got. I'm gonna go over everything I got at Brother Benno's first because it's right in front of me. And then I'll jump into Goodwill and then Sea Hive. So let me show you the frames that I got. So I actually found two of these. I'm not too fond of the photo in here and I'm, that's not something I'm gonna end up keeping, but the frame is like really nice. It's so cool. And it's got that really nice like mid-century dip. I feel like this is a very classic uh, frame from the 50s and 60s and it's solid wood, but I can replace this with whatever I want. So I got two of these. Luckily enough found two of these. So this, this is also a very classic mid-century look with the canvas on the inside. And then I found this one. I don't know, I'm not really like a gold frame kind of gal, but I really liked this. The other thing I found was this uh, really cool Pyrex bowl. I actually have some other Pyrex dishes that are how like this smoked glass color. So I just wanted to add this to my collection. It was six bucks and then 20% off. Everything was 20% off. I got another Pyrex dish. This is more of like an amber color and I have a circular one that is in the same color. So I'm kind of building this set of like smoked glass and amber glass and uh, this was three dollars and then i found this bowl so i don't know if you remember from my uh thanksgiving table video i only had two of three of them so this is my fourth one now so now i have a full set i also found this really awesome lampshade so it's huge <laughs> i told you in my last video that i collect shades whenever i find them and this one was really nice and as you can see, I have some mid-century lamps in here, like this one. I found this one actually with no shade as well. And so because I've been collecting them, it's easy for me to buy a cheap base and then have these cheap shades. So the shade was $6 on sale. So I also mentioned in my last video that I'm not really a basket gal either, 
but I found this really awesome basket and I think it would be cute as like a pot like to put a little plant in. Another awesome find was napkin rings. These were $5 and there's two, four, six, eight, ten 10 napkin rings for $5 minus 20%. I actually saw these at Sea Hive. The person in their booth who was selling these, they only had four of them and they were selling for $18. So this was like a total steal. So I found this awesome tinsel. It's got this like really interesting iridescence to it. It's like long and flowy. It's just $4 and I don't even know how long it is, but I'm sure I can use it on something. And then I found this awesome, actually mid-century garland box. So I don't know if I want to keep this or resell it or just hold on to it. I don't know why I would hold on to it, to be honest. I'd probably resell it um, or use it, but I thought that this was really pretty. I feel like this is something that my grandma would have had at her house. She also did like a lot of tinsel and her house was very mid-century. I got these two uh, lights. Said that they were tested on November 9th and they were $3 each before discount. You just put batteries in these and then you can put them on like a tree on your countertop and then you don't have to plug anything in. So I also found this really pretty garland of like pin ornaments. There's little Santas and reindeer. I thought that these were really cool because I just love like some quality materials. So whether it's tin, steel, wood, gold, brass, those kinds of things. And I feel like that gives like a really rustic kind of authentic vibe to your style. I also found this amazing candle. This is the Opal House candle from Target, but it was 50 cents and it smells like pine and it's amazing. So I'm really happy about this. As you know, I've mentioned in my last videos that I love candles. One of the most exciting things I found was a $20 wreath and it's big. Like, <laughs> I love this wreath so much. It's beautiful, it's gigantic. I found a wreath bag next to it to store it in. I found this for $8 before sale. This is a giant wreath bag and I can fit at least like two wreaths in there. And speaking of wreaths, I found these bags of decorations for $4 and a dollar. So I thought I could just pick and choose what I like in here and then whatever I don't use, I can just donate it back to Brother Benos and they can resell it before Christmas. I'm really excited to do a make a wreath with me and decorate Christmas with me. So make sure you subscribe for that. Okay, let's move on to the next haul. So I got this really hefty crystal bowl. I think it's an ice bucket. It was $3.99. So I was actually looking for an ice bucket for Thanksgiving and had to order one online because I couldn't find anything in time. And now I found this, so I can use this for Christmas and future parties. The next thing I found is this beautiful painting. So I just thought this was such a very pretty landscape and it was has so much depth and it feels very like Spanish or California. So I found this and this is like really odd looking when you first check it out, but I have a really cool craft idea for this of something that I'm gonna remake from World Market and it's gonna be a lot cheaper. This was only $2.99. So I will show you this in my make a wreath and Christmas decoration video. 99 cents for two of these. Doesn't it like match the vibe of the house so much? It's got this little mesh insert so you can put in loose leaf tea and just brew it in this little top little pot and you can pour it in here and have some nice tea. It's so cute. I love this. It's $4.99. This was the other smoked glass Pyrex dish that I found at Goodwill and it matches the other bowl that I got at Brother Benos. I love this. It's beautiful and I can't wait to cook in these. This is the last thing that I got at Goodwill. I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight of them. And then it comes also in this big one. So it's got a giant one to hold all of them or to, I don't, I have no idea what this is. I'm still gonna do the research, but um, I think it's really awesome. If anything, I can use these bowls as little trinket holders or I can put little tea lights in them or I could even fill this up with wax and make it a candle. Um, I don't want to ruin it if it's worth something and I might want to resell it to someone who could put it to good use and really cares about something like this. But either way, I think it was a great find. So this is the priciest haul. It's from Sea Hive Market. I only got three things, um, but I absolutely love these things. So first off is these vintage season greetings cocktail glasses. Um, they were 40 bucks, but they were 20% off. And they've got that cool um, gold etching that I have on most of my mid-century glassware. But I just thought that these were so freaking cool. I got a set of four of them for the 40 bucks. So I thought that, that was pretty affordable. 
and I don't have anything that is uh, Christmas related. So I thought getting these would be great. They had a really pretty matching tray, but it was $28 and I was just like, I've already spent so much money today. Maybe I can find that later. This thing I found was this really beautiful candlestick. It's very Danish. Uh, that's what it says. It's a wooden Danish pillar candle holder. And uh, this was $14, 20% off. And they didn't have a second one, but as I mentioned in my last video, if I like something, I'm gonna get it. And when things have like the same wood tones or a similar shapes, so I feel like you can mix and match and it really brings a lot more depth to your design. The last thing I got are these things. Oh my God, they're so cute. They're like little tea light reindeers and they're made out of brass and you just put a little tea light in here. And I just thought that these would be so cute anywhere. I don't know where, but I can't wait to decorate with these. Alrighty, that is my haul. I am so excited to use all these things in my Christmas decorating video, as well as my tree and wreath video. Those are coming out soon. So definitely make sure to subscribe and uh, like this video if you did. And let me know what you thought. Did you see anything in the thrift stores that I missed? Do you like anything that I showed you in this haul? Do you have it yourself? Do you think I paid a fair price? Let me know in the comments. I'd love to hear what you have to say and I'm excited to see you soon. Bye.